Now let us see one more definition in ring theory and that is nothing but an important element. Given an element in a ring R, let us call that element as A, it is said to be adempotent if A square is equal to A. Now A square means A multiplied by A. Now let us try to understand it through an example Z6. Okay, so how many elements are there from Z6? 6 naturally starting from 0 bar up to what? 5 bar. So simply we have to find square of each element and if it comes out to be itself then we will call that element as adempotent. For example, what is 0 bar square? It is going to be 0 bar. What about 1 bar square? Remember operation is multiplication. So it is going to be 1 bar. Next, what is 2 bar square? It is 4 bar. What is 3 bar square? It is 9 bar. But what is 9 bar in Z6? 3 bar. Next, 4 bar square? 16 bar. What is 16 bar? Modulo 6. It is 4 bar, right? Next, 5 bar square, that is 25 bar. What is 25 bar modulo 6? 1 bar. That's it, right? 6 elements. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, what is 0 bar square itself, right? So, it is adempotent. 0 bar is adempotent. 1 bar square, 1 bar, 1 bar is adempotent. 2 bar square, 4 bar. It is not 2 bar, right? So, not an adempotent. Next, 3 bar square again it is itself that is 3 bar uh, adempotent. 4 bar square again itself 4 bar uh, adempotent. 5 bar square 1 not adempotent. So, what are the adempotents of Z6? Therefore, 0 bar, 1 bar, 3 bar, and 4 bar are adempotents in Z6.